I got a pretty good video for you if you follow my channel. Mark Levin was on with Sean Hannity and he had some very pointed questions for Chuck Schumer. So I've got the video and I want you to watch it and hope you enjoy it. Thanks. But I have a couple questions, if I might, for Chuck Schumer, who is the leading demagogue in all this. Tell me something, Mr. Schumer. Can you name a single Russian, just one, who colluded with Donald Trump in his campaign? Just give us one. One. You got intelligence committees who've been investigating. You've had this interminable federal investigation that's gone on. Let's have it. Now, I have another question for Mr. Schumer. You like these independent special prosecutors. Sean, have you noticed they all use the same phrases? We can't trust the Justice Department to investigate. They can't even name the FBI agents who are involved in this investigation. I'm sure they are career agents that will do their job, regardless of who the FBI director is. But Mr. Schumer likes these independent special prosecutors. Let me ask you something, sir. Do you support an independent special prosecutor for Hillary Clinton and her multiple violations of the Espionage Act? Do you support an independent special prosecutor for the Obama administration's surveillance and unmasking of Trump transition team members and God knows who else? The Israeli ambassador was surveilled. The, the prime minister of Israel was surveilled. Members of Congress were surveilled. Jewish leaders and Jewish groups were surveilled. How about an independent investigation of that? Got another one, Mr. Schumer. How about an independent special prosecutor to investigate this whole seedy Iranian deal with the secret deals, the ransom payments, the release of terrorists that we find out after the fact? Let me tell you what's going on here, Sean. The President of the United States followed the Constitution, followed the law, and followed the advice of a Deputy Attorney General who won 94 to 6 his confirmation on April 25th. That means almost every single Democrat voted for him. You want to know why? The guy doesn't have a political bone in his body. He's worked for Bill Clinton. He's worked for George Bush. He is a career public integrity prosecutor, a criminal prosecutor. He's been an assistant U.S. attorney and a U.S. attorney. And Sean, the two big left-wing senators from Maryland went to his confirmation hearing, introduced him, and urged the committee to support him for deputy attorney general. This man comes into the Justice Department. He hears what Schumer has said. He hears what Clinton has said, and he has seen with his own eyes what Comey did. Then he watches Comey's testimony the week before, he, uh, last week, in which Comey doubles down Mark. on his outrageous behavior. And what happens? He writes a memo to the Attorney General and says, Mr. Attorney General, this director of the FBI, I have to deal with him. He's my direct report. I don't trust him. He needs to go. And the President of the United States, in the end, did exactly the right thing. He did what Barack Obama didn't have the courage to do, which is to remove an FBI director that didn't have the temperament to be an FBI director. Well said.